Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. As you can tell, my energy levels are up, up, up. I went to Spotlight yesterday and I bought a bunch of things, like $400 worth of things. So I shouldn't be so happy about it. I got three mega huge bags of stuff. I got yarn. I got fabric and I got some miscellaneous tools. Okay, so first let me start off with the non yarn things. I bought some fabric and I bought fabric for two different reasons. One for face masks, um, just because I saw really nice fabric and it was such a waste not to get them. They're too beautiful, so I got them. And the second one for um, pants. And if you guys saw my previous vlog, uh, is it my previous vlog? Anyway, um, you guys would have seen me sewing my own pants. So I got more fabric to sew pants with. So the first one is this gorgeous, I think this is um, rayon and is it silk? This one is rayon and satin. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful fabric. It's going to be a pair of red pants. Um, I got about two and a, about three yards only because I asked for two and a half and they have there was a half yard left so they thought I'll just give it to you. I don't think they're gonna carry this fabric anymore so I'm quite glad I got them. The next fabric I got is also for pants and it's this really pretty abstract print. It looks like this. It's going to be the same template as the the red pants and I think this would look so cute. This is 100% cotton. Um, it's a little bit stiff right now but I will have to wash them in, to get them like nice and flowy. But they are so pretty. I also got an extra yard of this for face masks which you will see later. This one I got two and a half yards just to make myself for their pants. These next two pieces of fabric that I got, uh, they weren't, I didn't plan to buy them but they were just too pretty and I couldn't resist. So. If you don't know this by now, this household is a big Harry Potter fan household. Both Mel and I love Harry Potter, so Spotlight was having some sort of Harry Potter themed fabric for sale. And I got this. It says the Marauders map. And it's just the it just looks like the map itself. So I got three yards of this. Or was it two yards? I think I got three yards of this and this is all there is left. I bought out the rest of the stock in Spotlight so I'm sorry if the, anybody of you wants to go get this. You can't get it anymore. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might make some face mask out of it. Maybe I'll just take off a half a yard but I don't know what I bought this for. I only bought it because it looks cute and we're such Harry Potter fans so this is one of them. The next piece of fabric is also a Harry Potter themed fabric and it's just one huge tapestry piece that says Try Wizard Tournament and it's got this crest and at the bottom it says Hogwarts. We're gonna hang this up somewhere, I don't know where, maybe our maybe our bedroom. In our bedroom we've got a huge headboard, this might work on the headboard, it's so big it covers half our window so this might be a good option. We don't know, or we might just hang it on the wall. But it's just, we're such fans, you know. And then the last set of fabric I bought is for face masks, and it's this one. Um, it's similar to the pants that I bought. I got one of this. This is the one that's similar as to my pants. Then there's this one that sort of looks like wood. And then there's this one. So I think, these four fabrics will look so nice as face masks so I'm just gonna do a bunch. It's only half yard each and then when it's gone, it's gone. Okay, so for the non-fabric stuff now, I just got some um, elastics. This is a two, 20 mm, I just got 2 meters of it, elastic for my pants because on the back of my pants that I sew a little bit of elastic onto it. So this is what I got them for. Then I got some sewing tools. This is the um, birch pins, sewing pins. I, I needed some. I was going to get the same ones I have which were yellow but this one's pearl. So I thought that they would look so cute. So I got these. Then I got two 
uh, two sets of knitting needles. It's not crochet hooks, but I do knit as well. And when I'm not crocheting for work, if I ever want to relax, then actually I knit. So I have two, two, two mm's, and I have three mm's. And the ones that I I currently have existing, I have four, five, and six mm. So with this, it means that I'll be set to go from anywhere between 2mm to 6mm. The next thing I got is a Friskas folding ruler. So it's one long folding ruler like this that, you know, keeps up really small and compact. And the reason for this is because I have been using a normal, like a normal long 30cm ruler. But I just think this would be so useful and so easy to use. And I've been wanting one for a long time and this was on sale. This was, um, I think the original price is like 50 bucks and I got mine for 33 because Spotlight was having a 40% sale. So if you want to go get anything from Spotlight, now is the time. So it looks like this and then it just opens up this way. So I can lay this flat on, on top of my fabrics and then I can make any sort of seam allowance seam allowance markings that, that I want to. Okay, and finally, the real reason that we went to Spotlight in the first place and that is yarn, obviously. So, the first thing I got was this um, Flinders cotton print. This is just pure cotton. I just got one tiny ball. This is for a personal project. Um, a friend of mine just gave birth, so I'm going to crochet her little baby beanie for a little newborn. So I chose this colorway. I got these two colors. This is from the Spot Saver, the Four Seasons Spot Saver, and this is in the blue Ravenclaw color. Oh, I just realized it's Harry Potter themed as well. But I do the Harry. I have all the Harry Potter colors in case any of you want to customize something in the Harry Potter themed. Um, I have them. But I recently ran out of the Raven Claws. Yay, go Raven Claw. And so I replenished them. They only had two balls left, so I took up the last two balls. This is the Marvel Magic Striping um, yarn in eight ply. It's just a nice gray. Really pretty variegation. And then I also got this one. This one was so expensive. This was like $14 per ball. And it's only, I'm guessing, 100 grams. Yeah, 150 grams. But it's velvet. And it looks so gorgeous and pretty. I just bought one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just experiment. Um, maybe maybe some beanies. Some velvet beanies would be quite cute. Like, like crushed velvet. So yeah, I got one of this. And then I got a bunch of Mill End packs because they were on sale, obviously. And they're all already pre-packed. It's really a hit or miss when it comes to buying mill ants. And don't buy mill ants expecting that you'll be able to find them again. Usually these are factory cutoffs or things that they can't sell or sort of defective yarn with knots, lots of knots in the middle. So I bought a few packets. The first one is a light blue cotton yarn. It comes in a pack of four because it's 400 grams. And I got this light baby blue. It's so, so freaking gorgeous and pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna use them for though. I just know that they're pretty and you know, we can always do with more cotton yarn because I love cotton yarn. Next, I got this burgundy color. Um, this is not cotton, at least I don't think. This uh, definitely feels like acrylic to me, but it's got this really pretty, it's similar to the velvet one I got but it's chunky acrylic and you know chunky acrylic is so difficult to find in spotlight so when I saw this in a huge Milan pack I knew I had to get it I will probably turn this into maybe like a small clutch or a little pouch I just think the color is so gorgeous and last but not least I got this pack of acrylic yarn as well but look at the gorgeous colorway I bought two it was the final two packs at Spotlight, so I'm sorry to any of you who like it and are thinking of going down. This is the last two bags. Let me open it. So this is really, really smooth. It almost feels like satin. So this is definitely acrylic. Um, it's really thin. It's a spot weight acrylic, but look at that beautiful colorway. So buying two packs give me, gives me eight balls of this yarn. So I thought that 
if I ever want to do something bigger with this, at least with 8 balls of yarn, I know that I have the option to create something bigger with yarn. Less is not always more. All in all, that cost me about $400. Although Spotlight is having a sale right now, all this really did cost a pretty penny. I don't usually go to Spotlight and spend so much money, so when I do, it's quite an exciting event. The only reason for that is because Spotlight is incredibly inconsistent with the types of things they bring in. So I am looking for specific types of yarn that I have bought from Spotlight in the past that I just can't seem to find anymore and when I ask are they bring them in, they don't know either. So things like this, when it comes to Spotlight, if you see something you really like, just get maybe one or two balls first. You can worry about, you know, what you're going to do with it later on but at least having two balls, maybe 200 grams of yarn would at least give you something to start with. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little Spotlight spending spree and i'll see you in my next video bye